november förra året gjorde den brittiska regeringen det till ett lagstadgat krav att alla som kommer till ett vårdhem i England ska ha tagit två doser covid-19-vaccin. Vänner och familjemedlemmar till vårdhemsboende var undantagna. Men anställda på vårdhem uppmanades att vaccinera sig eller förlora jobbet. Regeringen har visserligen skrotat vaccinkraven men det är osäkert om tidigare anställda kommer att vilja gå tillbaka till det jobb de förlorat. Now these uh, care homes are still trying to recoup the staff that they've lost. Um, they could re reemploy some of those staff but the reality is if you've already been sacked from your job you're unlikely to want to go back to work for, for them. It really has heavily affected a sector that has been working so hard and tirelessly over the past couple of years. Um, and then for the uh, legislation to come in place, meaning that uh, many care workers have had to choose to leave their position, um, has had a real significant impact on the sector itself. Um, not only have we lost really great care workers, um, they, they may have gone out and found other positions in other sectors now. Uh, the question is, will, will they return? And um, we, we suspect some will, um, but, but many won't. And, and that's a really difficult thing for, for the care sector. Tjänstemän uppskattar att omkring 40 000 vårdanställda förlorade sina jobb. Majoriteten av vårdpersonalen är kvinnor. Minister har sagt att både Brexit och covid har bidragit till personalbrist. Vårdcheferna säger att det kände sig som om hemtjänsten användes som en försökskanin för vaccinmandatspolitik. Royal College of Nursing, RCN, representerar nästan en halv miljon vårdanställda i Storbritannien. Claire Jacobs, som är nationellt ansvarig, säger att vissa organisationer trots regeringens utsväng håller fast vid vaccinmandatet. The RCN's position is very very clear is that mandatory vaccine is not the way forward. We believe all nursing staff should have the vaccine. It's their, certainly in terms of registered staff, it's their professional responsibility to have the vaccine. We believe that's right and proper for their protection, but also the clients they're looking after. However, it shouldn't be mandatory. That needs to be made as a personal choice by everybody. Um, we're really concerned that some employers are still, and, and even before it became legislation, are still expecting that to be a mandatory uh, term of employment. And um, whilst we understand that during the legislative period, employers were forced to have to do that, and many were unhappy about that, and we've worked very closely to support those employers. Um, there are other employers that actually um, continue to make it a, van- a mandatory requirement, um, which we think is is not pe- not not fair. It's worth mentioning that the health secretary made a speech at the Care England conference, and in it he thanked care home leaders and care home staff. He said that COVID isn't over, but also said that the country is better defended against it, highlighting the vaccination program, testing, and also other treatments against COVID. He also said in response to a question that if there was an outbreak of COVID-19 in a care home that it would be up to the care home manager's judgment on what measures to take. Now he didn't accept an interview with us um, and he didn't mention the government's U-turn on the vaccine mandates in his speech. And of course those vaccine mandates left a lot of care workers in a difficult position. I mean some care workers would have taken the vaccine even though they weren't quite sure about it. And now with the U-turn and the vaccine mandates they'll be left thinking oh what, what did I do that for? And it's also left the care home providers in a difficult position as they try their best to follow the law while retaining their staff. Jane Worrell, NTD News, London.